Hey there to all of, hi, all my seventh graders for science. I wanted to do a quick little tutorial on Google Classroom because a lot of you have had some uh, questions. And so I wanna start by saying the stream right here on the main page is very confusing. You can see the different things that are upcoming on the stream, which is great but it's a bit overwhelming because everything is here. What I like to click on to help me out more is classwork. And on classwork, it's a bit easier because by date, you can see everything that is needed just for today. Uh, here's what you can see are the 11 of you have turned in, actually 15 of you have turned in your assignment already for today, which is the CK-12 review questions. You've read your article and turned them in. There's also down below the question for today, which 20 of you have turned that in. Um, so here's a review question, or sorry, here's your question of the day, and you've completed it. And beyond that, you've written that in for me. Here is the science prep for today. So if you'll do your question, click on science prep, here is the article for today. I was not able to put in a new um, Google Doc for you here, so I had to put the Google Doc up above it. So if you could read the article right here, water pollution, and then go up just above it, click on that to answer the questions, and that's where you'll turn in the review questions from the article. And then of course down here is sciencebock.weebly.com where you can study your vocabulary words. What you'll see above is the slide project that is you're able to start working on for the whole rest of the week. And the Google slide project, if you click on it, it gives you everything needed. Every single slide attached to it is also the rubric, which is it's 20 points, labeled 20 points, but it's out of 100. And one thing that I do want you to see is I included the old article that we read last week, which gives you some more of the vocabulary words, but also right here next to it, if you'll click on that water pollution project, Google Slides, every single student gets their own. And this is where you will be working on those Google Slides. So it lets me, if you just go ahead and click on that, I've made a copy for every single student. So when I go to check your grades and see who's turned that in, uh, this is what's really cool is all at one time I can see every single student and their Google Slides as long as you use. You can see right here where Ella has started on her project and so has Athena. So excellent job and shout out to those students. But I only see your work if you use the Google Slides that are attached right here. The other thing that you'll be doing this week is make sure that you're um, studying your vocabulary words because you have an assessment that you need to take as well on it. But these are the questions that I'm using each day. You answer the question and that way it lets me know that you're here for to check attendance. That's my evidence. The question for today is down here at the bottom with today's date. So I hope this is helpful. Again, this page is called Classwork. Also, if you would, uh, click on Google Calendar, it will tell you, it'll give you a nice little picture of everything that you have assigned and do for the entire week. And so for some of you, you can attach your phones to that or mine's taken a while to load. But hopefully this is helpful and um, can be of good use to you. But again, that is Classwork. And with that attached is Google Calendar, but those are the things that, and you can also look over here at all your topics that are due for this week. Make sure you complete those questions and text me, email me, let me know. But as far as today, again, you have an article to read and you need to use the Google Doc above to answer. Also complete this, the science prep and I think that's about it. So review those study questions or the vocabulary too. Thanks.